Good morning. It's December and we're thinking cards and snow scenes and snow globes and how can I do that? This is Pam from Follow Your Brush and I welcome you to my uh, YouTube channel this morning. Follow Your Brush. Like and subscribe if you wish. I appreciate those of you that have fo been following me. Today I'm talking about salt. I have a member of my group that is doing Christmas cards and is using her salt absolutely beautifully. And so she has been asked the question, as many of us ask, how in the world did you do that? And what do I need to know? So I've got a few examples for you here. And I did go ahead and dry this with my blow dryer, which I don't normally do. I like to let my paintings kind of dry on their own, but I wanted to speed it up. And if I do the whole thing, it wouldn't give me time to do that. But I have, this is dry now, and I did do the salt. This one I did the moon glow with the water and paint, um, not super wet, but not yet dried. It just still was damp. And then I did my salt, let it dry, and now that it is totally dry with my blow dryer, I can come off, come in here and gently brush off my salt. And you can see the gorgeous effects that it gives you, I think. And also, it shows me, my watercolor tells me, it's almost like it tells me a story when I go back to look. I can see some trees here in the snow. I can, see perhaps a sky, another tree. It's like they, it's like it tells me stories. Let's look at this one and see what we can find in this one. This two, um, this was two colors, my Quin Magenta and Mandathrinone Blue, which are two of my favorite colors kind of blended to make a lavender. And then I put my salt more on this side and less here. So we could leave room to maybe add something. It's dry and let's brush off the salt. And yeah, that's really pretty. I see different scene in that as well. This one I put the salt on when it actually was still dry. I didn't use much water and I didn't use much paint. I put on a little bit of salt, and as you can see, it's really not effective. This one was super wet, and I had puddles everywhere till I finally had to, to drip up my puddles. Little bit of salt left. Well, actually, it's still a little, still a little wet there. And I got a few little effects, but if your paper's too wet, you're not gonna get what you want. Actually, this time, rather than painting, I'm gonna to try to come in here with my with my Micron ink pen and just kind of give some ideas of what I see, perhaps, in this salty sky. Of course, you can come back, obviously, and I do all the time with my watercolor and build up your build up your scene. But today, I'm just going to come in with some ink just to give you an idea quickly what you can do and add to your salt scene. See, I see some really pretty trees in here. Perhaps in the snow, some little branches. Give you another one over here. So the trick it seems to be with the salt is getting in there when it's damp, but not too wet like this one and not too dry. And then let it dry completely and then come back in and brush off your salt. And then I like to just kind of go with what it shows me. I that's one thing I like about watercolor is it kind of leads me along. And see the marks that it's already made here? I'll just kind of follow those. And um, 
create my picture around that. Kind of use some imagination. My daughter was little, she used to call it her magic nation. And uh, I think I still have some of that. <laughs> so then you can kind of come along with your, with your own magic nation and uh, create what you want. I'm just doing this with ink right now, but you can totally come in with your watercolor and, and develop your own scene. And you can make a beautiful Christmas card. I can't resist. I gotta come in with some. I gotta come in with some paint. Let me come back into my moon glow. So that's what I had in here to begin with. And uh, where the salt has already dried, you're gonna notice that when I come back over this, I don't lose that. It's still gonna be have that sparkly effect. You see that? So salt. Do you want salt with that? Yes or no? I say yes. That's a lot of fun. And play with it. Let your imagination, or as I said, your magic nation, just go. I like it with the ink drawing on there, don't you? Then add your color and um, Look, that's, that's really pretty. This was my Moon Glow from Daniel Smith. My brush is from Tracy Levinson. You know, he just finished up a big holiday fair, which was very successful for him. And I, I, I just love that for him. I, I love his products and the work that he does. He does a great job. So you can come back in and create your snow scene your Christmas scene, your card, whatever you wish. And um, enjoy using your salt for texture and, and effects. Um, it, it's really a fun way to create your paintings. and enhance what you're doing with your watercolor. I, I'm not talking that much because I keep thinking. I apologize. I'm just trying to show you how you can build this up a little bit. I'm gonna add some of my colors back down in here and just build this up a little bit and let's have a really pretty snow scene walk in the yard and the snow. I have fond memories as a child of being outside sledding and having a good time. So I just want to give you an idea how this can work. Now see the salt was not there, but the water and the moon glow can also, because it's granulating, can also give me great, great, great textures as we go through that snow. Oh, that's really pretty. I like that. So that's all, I'm, I'm gonna play with this one on my own, but I just wanna give you an idea. To salt or not to salt, do you want salt with that? Sure, add some salt and play. Have a good time. And um, this one actually, I said I wasn't gonna do this, but I am. I'm just kind of going in between. This I almost kind of see like a flowers coming down and these are the little berries maybe on my, on this beautiful plant that's growing here. Look at that. And look how those little salt particles are giving me beautiful little flowers and yeah I think you get my drift I can hardly speak I'm, I'm thinking see how pretty that is okay y'all probably stopped watching by now and I apologize 
But anyway, this is Pam from Follow Your Brush. The question is, do you want salt with that? My answer is, yes, indeed, I do. <laughs> Bye.